burn bang, recipe slang and muck banging it out. Not a pro or a hoe. We gonna be banging it out in this episode. Chisel and nizzle. Wigtastic, it's magic. Spilling the tea on some of them episodes. It's your boy, Learn Bang. And that's why cooking from my soul is the way I go on this Muttable Mukbang channel. We'll be back for more episodes. Lord, thank you for this food. Thank you for everything you do in our life, Lord. Uh, thank you for everything you give us. Lord, just continue to bless uh, everybody out there in YouTube land and our friends or family. And in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So let's get to the food. All right, y'all. Hey, y'all. This is Vern. Vern Bang. So, yeah, we're back. With another video, we're gonna do a cooking video today. So hopefully y'all can see the pan good. But anyways, uh, we got some 80-20 ground beef, and we're gonna do nachos today. And so anyways, how's it going today? It's going really good. Glad I'm coming back with the recipe video, and then we got the pan here. So hopefully y'all can see everything really good. If not, I'll have to I'll try to back it up, but I won't back it up too much because we don't want stuff to be falling, you know. But yeah. Anyways, it is what it is, but hopefully y'all having a great day. And so we're going to start with the 20, uh, 80 ground beef. And we're going to... Yeah, he's having an issue. This baby turn on. We got it going. Turn this down. Crash! Shut up. Anyway, so. We got this beautiful 80 20 ground beef. This is, uh. Like you get your local Target. So we can go ahead and discard this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Back up a little bit. How's y'all day going? But you already said that. But anyway, so well. So yeah, we're just going to saute this. Flip it over. So yeah, we're just gonna saute this baby up in the pan. But yeah, so I'm doing my own taco with spice. I got cumin. Uh, we're gonna do uh, garlic powder, and I also got onion powder as well. And then I'm gonna do chili powder. And then I'm gonna do some uh, uh, sazon uh, culantro y And then we're gonna do some. These are the chips we're gonna be using. The Rico's cheese or the Rico's chips, as well as the Rico's cheese. Uh, we're gonna do some refried beans in our nachos as well. And. We got some paste for honey sauce, and then 
Oh yeah. And I got my trusty sidekick. Yep. May or may not have vodka in it. Yo. But we're gonna do this baby right here. Rico's cheese. Yes, yeah. I grew up on this. Everywhere you went in San Antonio, it was Rico's cheese. You know, went to a fair, went everywhere. So it's like a pretty much a staple in my house anyway, because it's my favorite style of nacho cheese. Let me turn this down a little bit. So this cast iron gets hot. But that's why I love cast iron. It gets nice and hot. You get some really good sear sound. Make sure we got the mic on, which I think we do. Because we cook them with cast iron grease. But yeah, so we're going to sear this off. It's 80 20. It's not too fatty. Uh, there's some fat in there. I got a jar over here. We're going to release the fat in. And then, anyway, so. Yeah, I love nachos. Nachos is one of my favorite recipes. It's a very easy dish. Uh, but yes, it's so hard to get good nachos. So I like doing them at the house. You get pretty much put any kind of meat you want in them. And we're just going to do Rico cheese meat. We're going to do the beans. And then we got sour cream, hot sauce. You can do guacamole. It just depends on what you like and your nachos. So. I'm going to layer them all up. Some people like them layered. Some people like them uh, chips on the side with the meat and cheese and stuff. That's kind of how my mom likes them. Uh, sometimes I'll layer them up. Uh, the doggies, they definitely like them layered. So, yeah. So, yeah, we're just going to saute this beef right here. And get this to cooking. And... Yeah, so when we get this nice and brown, we're going to add the seasoning. We'll drain the grease first, and then we'll add the seasoning up, but yeah. And then I'm just going to microwave the Rico's cheese. Uh, sometimes, depending uh, how big of a uh, nacho thing that I'm doing, if I'm doing like a large group and I'll put it in the crock pot, then I have a whole bunch of beef, you know, like 10 pounds of beef, and then I'll do the whole one pound thing of can of cheese and I try to leave my beef chunks a little bigger especially if I'm going to do them in the crock pot uh, but I'll sear everything up first flavor it and then I'll just keep it in the crock pot you know just to keep it warm and then add the cheese to it that way that's ready to go and then you have all your condiments ready to go on the side so people can layer them they can put chips on the side they can you know do what they want to do that makes them happy so anyways just having a really good day today Trying to crank some videos out for YouTube and y'all. Uh, appreciate all the new subscribers to my channel. And, uh, uh, yeah, just enjoying life. So, anyways, I put another video up last night, some more sushi. So, I was like, well, I better do something different. And I, you know, I want to do more recipe videos. So, I'm like, well, let's do some nacho with Mama was like. Hey y'all, this is Vern. So we got the meat sauteed. Yeah, the camera cut off, so. Anyway, sorry about that. But yeah, so we're going to uh, crank this pan back on. Uh, put that over there. I'm going to crank. And I drained the grease already. So I browned it, drained the grease. Sorry, you can see it on the video because, like I said, the video cut off. But anyways, uh, I'm going to turn that up a little bit. And so I said we're going to do one pack of the Sazon, the Inaro Colantro. We're doing a pack of that. And then we're going to do the garlic powder. I like lots of garlic powder and onion powder. So I'm going to do that. And then we're going to hit it with the onion powder. And 
And then we're going to hit it with the uh, chili powder. If you got taco seasoning that you like to use, just use that. Because um, I just like to use the spices I got. I mean, it's kind of the same ingredients in a taco seasoning. Other than they never put enough cumin. I like lots of cumin, so... We're going to do that, and then we're going to... it all up and then this will be done and then we'll heat the cheese up I'm gonna put the beans in here while this is kind of reducing down so yeah this smells really delicious really nice uh, nice same as the taco seasoning would smell so, you know if you got Whatever you want to add, you can add. Whatever pack of taco seasoning you want to use, you do you. So, yeah. So, we're going to do that. And I'm going to go ahead and we're going to add the things in here. I'm going to do it on this side. Um, get these babies heated up. And these are nice. They got the nice little pop top on them. And they got a nice little uh, oil. That way they'll refry really nicely. So I'm going to pop these babies in there. Get these all heated up. And I'm using my trusty spatula. Spatula, spatula. But yeah, I do love this cast iron. I was, I was saying before, and then uh, that me and mom loves nachos, so we're like, yeah, nachos. Awesome nacho day. It's so easy to make, so easy to get ready, and make sure you don't forget your pot holder way over there where you can't get it because you will burn yourself. These cast irons get super, super hot. So, but yeah, you can kind of see the bings in here. And we got the meat right here. And we're just going to heat this up. And then I'm going to go microwave the cheese. I'm going to put it in a glass microwave safe bowl. We're going to heat the cheese up. Layer the nachos up. So this is just a, you know, easy, simple recipe. You know. Uh, yeah, this is just an easy, simple recipe anybody can do. Uh... So I hope you enjoyed it, and so anyways, we're just going to finish heating all this up, and then we'll be back with the, or I'll be back with the mukbang. So I'm going to do a mukbang on this, uh, and uh, I'm going to show y'all when, I'm going to go heat this up, uh, I'm going to finish heating this up, and I'm going to heat this up, and then uh, I'll be back to show you how I plate it up uh, for Mama. How she likes it. But yeah, we're going to do uh, Mexican. Uh, we're going to do the, you know, the Rico's cheese. But I'm going to do, I got Mexican blended cheese. I'm going to do as well. And then we're also going to do sour cream. And then, like I said, the Rico's chips. I like the Rico's chips because they're, they're a little thicker. Uh, so they, what's, they're made for nachos. So, uh, anyways, they're gluten-free as well. Uh, so, I believe the cheese... Is gluten free as well. Uh, so, anyways, just having a great day. Oh, yeah, this meat smells super awesome. Let's see how it tastes. Good luck. Mmm. Oh, yeah. I'm telling you, those simple little ingredients are the best little taco spice. That you're gonna make yourself, you know, super good. And then, like I said, I like to put that extra cumin in there. But anyways, we'll be back with the uh, presentation part of the video. Peace. Hope you enjoyed this recipe, and we'll be back for more. This is Vern Bay. All right, y'all. Uh, Hopefully y'all can see me a little bit, but yeah, trying to get all this squeezed in here, so 
I'm gonna do this how Mama likes it. So she doesn't like like her chips layered. So and I'm sure some people don't like it like that. So we're going to put some chips on the side, and then she will be able to get more chips if she wants. But we're gonna do it like that, not too much. Uh, and so we're going to do, I got this nice cheese here. Uh, this is the Rico's cheese. Got it nice and hot. All you gotta do is heat it up. And we're just gonna put some right here in the corner, which I'll give you a close up of what it looks like. So yeah, we're just gonna pile some of that cheese up. And then put that back down. And then we're gonna hit it with some of these uh, beans that are nice and hot. I'm gonna put a dollop right there. I try to arrange it to where, you know, you got some beans and you got some cheese and some meat. All right, and then we're gonna put some meat on this side. So it look real pretty. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cut that grill pan off. And uh, so we're going to have some sour cream. And right now, while it's super hot, we're going to go ahead and hit it with some of this. Uh, this is uh, Monterey Jack, Cheddar, Asadero, and Quesadilla cheese. And so, yeah, we're going to hit it with some of this. Extra, extra cheesy goodness. All righty. Not that we didn't have enough cheese with the nacho cheese, right? But yeah, it's kind of like a deluxe nacho type thing. And then we're going to hit it with the sour cream. Put a big dollop right here. Make it look nice. Got that going. And then we got the mild pecani sauce. And we're going to... Alright, y'all. So my bad. Got to erase the other video, but anyways, so yeah, we're gonna take a, a little spoon of this, and we're just gonna dollop it right on top of there, make it look pretty. Mama can get some more if she wants, but this is kind of how it looks. We got our nice beans, we got our meat, we got our cheese, and then we got our chips on the side, and so she's gonna be a happy camper. And so, anyways, I just appreciate y'all tuning into the video, and. Uh, this is my uh, famous nacho recipe. I love it. You can augment. You can change the seasonings. You can do anything you want. It's all about you. So anyways, thanks. Don't forget to share, 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 like, and subscribe. And this is Vern Bang. You been Recipe Bang. All right, y'all. Peace. Stay trill. See y'all in another episode.